balcony um, in a castle that's sort of floating in mists of all this this chaos that is happening here. Um, and there is some kind of a, a force um, keeping away the the chaos um, from this particular area. So there's kind of, there's the castle, and then there's kind of little chunks of other um, other pieces that have sort of settled in this region of, of calmness. Um, Silver, you have um, spent the previous session um, trying to help uh, repair the the Nautilus. Um, there's been quite a bit of damage to it from actually getting to this point. Um, and you were helping the crew uh, repair repair the, the damages that was done. Um, Adrian and Phoenix have um, have been defending the the, the ship. Um, you have heard uh, a lot of um, a lot of fighting, a lot of uh, yells and screams from outside. Um, uh, and you would have heard a voice that um, uh, that says something to the effect of. Um, It's been a very long time since uh, since uh, living beings have uh, managed to make it to this to this plane. So King Oog will uh, grant uh, you a boon uh, if you can manage to survive another uh, three slot that. Uh, will be thrown thrown at you guys. So okay. um, Adrian and Phoenix, uh, meanwhile, have been defending the airship um, and also have moved uh, into the castle proper to try and see what's going on in there. Um, and they have managed to defeat one uh, slot that of the three that um, were being sent at them as a challenge. So that's um, more or less where we left off. Um, All right. Great. Phoenix had also already wasted his, well, as we say wasted, used his boon um, on one of the slads that he'd managed to convince was a god. he was a god. He was going to be the convert for all the other slads. But then this <laughs> guy destroyed the said slad. So, yeah. I had to get him resurrected so that I could then continue to spread the faith. What's for the uh, what's for the groupings along to the right? I could see here. Is that just like who's where, basically, or what is that? Yeah. All right. And there, there used to be blue balls that were um, Adrian and Phoenix. But, Before we get to the old dice. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, Adrian, you have um, you have been infected. Yes. Um, you have a, you have a lightning staff that you got from one of the one of the slad. Um, but yes, you've been infected with with the slad virus and are slowly turning into a slad. Phoenix, you have a cloak of that would let you turn into a raven. Yay. Um, Adrian, last when we last left off, Adrian, you had um, you had failed your keep watch roll. Uh, yes. Let me just, uh, trans... I'm just going to make a modification to the background real quick. But, uh... For what it's worth, I super succeeded that. Keep watch. <laughs> you did, yes. <laughs> nice. 
Yeah, unfortunately not. <laughs> I was really confident that I was safe. I think I also got you a set of parasitic slad claws, um, silver, for when you meet up with us again. Parasitic slad claws? Is that... Uh, the slads, when with their wounds, cause you to turn into a slad. When we heard that, we basically started cannibalizing some of their corpses to use for bioweapons. Interesting. I could probably make poison out of that. Yeah, that, 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 that was pretty much the figuring, so I, I cut, cut off a pair for you. <laughs> Alright, neat. Thank you. It works. I'll collect it after we're done with this nonsense wave survival that you guys seem to be in the middle of. Um, yeah, so... How, how is the repairs going on the ship, since that's where I am? How what? How are the repairs going on the ship? Uh, they, are, they are going well. Um, unfortunately, uh, there is not enough, um, enough levitation orbs to get the ship um, fully, fully levitating. Um, you guys uh, in the... Yeah, and the passage to get here um, were uh, destroyed uh, quite a few of them. Uh... All right. Okay. And we're able to replace them. I believe we said that last time that um, you could magically create more, right? Yes. Fair. In that case, I'll probably jump away from the ship and uh, see if Adrian and Phoenix need any assistance where they are, because they've been away for a while. Are you guys all sent it on the bottom part of the screen? Oh, yeah. Mmm, isometric. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone's got a newfound love for isometric in that case. Then again, I can't blame them for it. It's really cool. All right, Adrian, you kept last watch here. Um, so you are going to see um, fluffy little snowball. Yes. She's going to go wander off curious uh, up these stairs here. Uh, uh, you you actually don't see her, but you do see her come back. You see Snowball come back. Um, and you notice nothing strange about Snowball. Uh, but Phoenix, what what sound would you make if a if a sword was pushed into your stomach? Ow. <laughs> okay. Okay, great. You make that sound. Okay. Ow. <laughs> it's probably a bit weight gurgling as well, but I would probably be the most important one. Uh, as Snowball expands oh, 
No. Slides. Into, into a slide with a sword that is stabbing it into your stomach. Oh, no. We'd probably also be up there. No problem. What's my damage? Uh, you would have been healed. Yeah. Okay. Six. Uh. So obviously everyone is awake at this point from Phoenix's uh, scream of pain. Huh? But I don't remember growing swords at my stomach. Oh, slide. <laughs> Adrian, are you asleep? <laughs> Why would you let a cat come and attack us? Why would you let my cat become a slad? Phoenix <laughs> says, rushing over to attack Adrian. He just starts shaking her, casually ignoring the slab behind him. Yeah, I'm just taking it along for the ride. Or pulling it out. One of the two. <laughs> oh, boy. And, I think uh, there are big, more important things at stake here. And Snowball might be sladified. <laughs> <laughs> and thus, off in the distance... The pitter of patter of feet can be heard running down the hallway, shouting, Phoenix, I got my finger, I need you to heal me, Phoenix. <laughs> okay, uh, the slot has ripped out his sword and is drawing it back to take another huge swipe at Phoenix. Uh, Silver, what do you do? As I rush onto the scene, uh, clutching my one boo-boo on my finger, I look up at the gigantic monster. Uh, has it noticed me yet? No, it's focused on Phoenix. Uh, I, uh, I look to the ground. Is there a rock? You have your throwing knives, mind. I do, but a rock is more interesting in this situation for some reason. Okay. Regardless, I pick up a rock, the imaginary rock that may or may not exist, the struggler's rock, and I throw it at the slad, and I go, I, get, get out of here. I don't want to see you around here. Go. Go, giant frog being. Not you, Phoenix. The other one. <laughs> I'm a perfectly ordinary frog size. I mean, I'm not a frog. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can oh I roll, my god. Should I roll to attack in that case? Oh fuck, I can't actually... Oh, there we go. Why is it doing? Ah. Uh, I can't, I can't actually yeah, slide. Phoenix, that was, uh, that was the damage when he pulled out the sword. And I need to reset my things. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, well, so I wasn't really we... applying my armor from a shield because it wouldn't really make any sense in this. Sorry about that. I had to refresh the page. Uh, would I be able to roll to attack in that case? Uh, yes. Cool. Uh, where? Uh, where's the volley? There's the volley. That's my volley. <sighs> oof. Um. Oof. Oof. Choose one option below. Um. Mm, I'll take the minus one d six damage in that case. Okay. Uh, I'll need to read on my carrot sheet. Sadness. Okay. All right. So five damage. Ah, oh, it feels like a very long time since I've last been here. I don't know why, I've never been to this place before, but I feel like the, 
motions of time has kind of been a bit strange, as if I haven't been here for several months, when in fact I have been here the entire time. It's strange. Existential crisis later, Silver. Stabby, stabby now. On the subject of that, I, I throw Adrian at the slide. The fact that I'm bleeding all over the place. <laughs> I have a massive <laughs> open hole in my stomach, yes. Uh, That's yeah. it, Phil. I was kind of hoping you'd just be a meat shield for me for that, but sure, that works too. <laughs> that succeeds. Ooh, that's nice. So what's the invisibility spell so that I know what the effects are? But now you can't cast a spell. Well, it'll and... have to be a really good spell then, Adrian, that you cast next. Okay, but Phoenix, you feel... I'm not sure you would feel yourself go invisible, but you would definitely see that you kind of faded away uh, into obscurity, um, and the slod will, there you're a ninja, will, uh, will look around as if it can't, can't see you, Phoenix. Okay. Uh, yes, it, it's intelligent enough to, to not, um, attack blindly. I was physically holding you, remember? <laughs> um... I, I imagine, uh... I, yeah, I, I still... Pu I'll, I'll push you away from it, seeing how I'm invisible, and step further up to the side, but I'm gonna do so quietly so, it's, so my footsteps aren't ringing out. Can I quickly use Bardic Lore here? Sure. What do you want to find out? Is there any way to undo what's happened to Snowball? Okay. Interesting. Because um, it wasn't my damn cock off, Adrian. <laughs> I'm not losing my pet for him because of you. <laughs> okay. Um, Bardic lore. Uh, you've you know from from songs of when the when the slot have invaded before that um, the the higher level slod are are shapeshifters they can take unassuming forms um, so you think that's what's happening here snowball is probably might be wandering the corridors but oh, right. um, you know maybe that slod snow, saw snowball turned into the form of snowball and kind of Infiltrate. Oh wait, that's considerable less fine. That means I have no idea where Snowball is. I'm sure these two can handle it. I'm running off to look for Snowball. <laughs> yeah, well that too. <laughs> Who is uh who's the slot facing? 
Uh, right now, the slot is kind of. Um, right now, the slot is facing Adrian. Perfect. Uh, I want to pull out my short sword, and I'm going to run up behind it in that case while uh, what they're doing is going on. And I'm going to jump at the beast with my blade, and I will thrust and uh, do like a light kind of stab against its back before trying to scurry away again. <laughs> so I would, I would, I'm going to try and steal a backstab. Yeah. Okay. Do a backstab. Yos. Ooh, that's a not as great backstab, but you know it's okay. I'll take it, I guess. I forget to choose an option. Um, I feel. Does this thing have a hide to it? Has it got like quite a gruff and coarse skin, or is it quite soft? Uh no, it has very, very, uh, very coarse and pebbly skin. Okay, I would like to reduce its armor by one in that case. Okay. Uh, and then I think you still get to deal your damage, right? I think it's deal your damage or roll deck, so it'd be that or this, I think. Which one of the options here is to deal my damage, but I only got to choose one. Okay, all right. So opted for sure. the armor dead. Yeah. Sure, all right. So, yeah, you managed to um, uh, slice uh, through its scaly, pebbly skin enough to um, to to make a, a weak point, a weakness in its in its scaly uh, skin. So, um, like a pop a scale up or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna. I don't think there's a tax of opportunity in Dungeon World, so I'm gonna try and back up. I think after that and provide some some space, so I'm not in its face anymore. Okay, well let's um let's switch to Adrian here. Adrian, what are you doing here? The beast is focusing on you. You can kind of see the shadow of silver coming up behind. What what do you do here, Adrian? Uh, sure. You can try that. Okay. Okay. All right. What What do you want to do with your prestidigitation? What would that look like? What would that look like? The Pennywise dance or something? Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know, in Star Wars, where that thing is dancing in front of Jabba the Hutt, sort of like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm I'm not 100 percent sure the slot have sexes necessarily, but um, the the abomination that you illusion. Uh, in front of this creature is is enough to surprise it. Um, okay, so Silver, what what would you like to do with your your distracted slot now? If that was oh, a... I actually didn't see the other backstab option, which is don't get to me with it. So I assume I do have to actually stay within its proximity unless I proc that. But instead of doing that, I would want to do my damage. Okay. Um, you dig your sword in deep, and yeah, great. Cool, cool. So it'd be my damage plus a decent, which I'll just add. So that's seven damage. Okay. 
And I think the uh, the armor would come off first, right? Before the damage applies, or would it be the other uh, way? I think so, yeah. Minus three. How much armor do I have? I might want to check that. Um, oh no. Hey. This lad could literally do the whole like Hulk to Black Widow thing from the Avengers when he just like twists and turns and looks at me. <laughs> like, I would actually be so, like... Oh my god, what? Alright. Um, having trouble keeping track of how much health this guy has, but okay. I thought I did all that, maybe he's taking damage in the path. Uh, it does have, oh, four, three, seven, nah, you're right. Okay. Okay, um, the, the slad, um, seeing himself uh, surrounded and uh, outnumbered and bleeding from a deep wound in his back, will... <clears throat> will, uh, will throw down his sword... Uh, and um, clap his hands, uh, and a black wind will start to gust away from him into oh, no. you, Silver, and uh, you, Adrian. Uh, this wind is like eating into your, your body as it presses into you. Uh, what do you guys do? Uh, I would like to defy danger by holding my breath. As it... Um, well, you said it's when, yeah, so I'll try and defy danger by holding breath. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, Silver, um, you can choose to take the damage, um, or, uh, you can kind of angle your, your, your sword in such a way that it can kind of block the, um, the swirling winds that are coming at you, um, but that will that will cause your sword to kind of crumble into into dust. So what do you want to do? Not my sword. Um, hang on. I do have I do have other weapons, I guess. Uh, all right, goodbye, short sword. I think is the answer to that one. Yeah. Uh, and Adrian, what are you doing here?
Okay. Okay. All right. Um, sounds like a dexterity. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, yeah, as you, as you've woken up, um, your, your, uh, your torso has kind of been covered by the green slod skin. Oh. So I'm guessing by that talk, this probably has something to do with the infection. Or how they pass it or something. Yeah, I don't like that. So the last time they stabbed you and you got the infection. Oh boy, okay. Uh Adrian, this wind, um, as you as you try to to duck it and dodge it, it's going to catch you. Um and it's going to bite into your flesh. Um, doing 10 damage to you. Do you have magical armor? Okay, 8 damage to you. Uh, Phoenix, were you doing a song up there? Uh, I was really more typing. Um, I, I wasn't really any kind of song. Though I may well use that for uh, when I heal Adrian. But no, I was busy. It depends. Would I have heard any of this? In my um, mad dash away to find Snowball? Uh, no, I, I think you're probably too far away to actually... Uh... And yeah, no, I just continue my run until I um, presumably notice I'm no longer. All right. Um. Who's the who's the slide's attention on there? The slide's attention is on. It's kind of flipping back and forth between the two of you, Silver. Um, All right. Yeah, that's probably a no going backstabs in that case. Um, in that case, I think I could probably see Adrian coughing her guts up. Uh, do you want to act or uh, do you want me to go? All right, fair enough. Um, I'm going to do, I think I'll just try a basic boy attack. Uh, I'm going to pull out my not good dagger. Uh, I'm going to pull up my regular dagger. Um, as I unsheath it from my boot, I kind of give it, like, as it spirals its head back towards me, I give it, like, a quick, like, uh, slash. Uh, I think this thing's taller than me, right? Yes. So I, like, kind of bounce my arm upwards into, like, an uppercut-type slash overhead, uh, and I'll do that at the bottom of its, like, between its throat and its jaw. Okay, great. Uh, make a make a hack and slash. Oh, it's always half, man. It's never like plus ten. Um, what's the seven to nine? You damage, but it retaliates. Well, okay. Um, well, I do damage, and I'm gonna take damage. Okay. Yep. 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 
uh, the massive monster is going to, as you, uh, as you stab it, is going to, grip you in its claws and squeeze you, your, uh, your torso, um, as your blade sinks into it. Wow. <laughs> Please don't one-shot me, Mr. Slut. <laughs> <laughs> Guess worse. Now you're turning Slad as well. Oh, no. What's the... No. <laughs> I guess it's, it's the claws. Like that. The claws that have the parasite bit. That's why getting stabbed in with a sword was sore, but not necessarily. Oh, crap. Nine damage, too. Like, damn. Okay. Yeah. It's beastly, yeah. This All combat right. was a whole lot easier when we still had the tank. Let's see that HP drop. Yeah. Okay, Phoenix. Um, in your quet mad dash to find your your long lost kitty, um, you're going to uh. I can find my slide here. There's a slide, yeah. Uh, oh. uh, behind you, you're going to hear a chuckle, uh, croaky sort of. Phoenix, where'd you go? I, I, I know, I know, but his, uh, his login just flickered out. Wow. Oh, uh, goodbye, Phoenix. <laughs> nice knowing you. Goodbye, Phoenix. I had such plans for you. But, okay. Oh. Phoenix? Has he returned? Are you back, hello? Phoenix? The Messiah. Oh, hello. Yep, yep. Sorry, connection dropped for a second there. Oh. Uh, Phoenix, um, you're you're going to uh, to hear a um, a croaky sort of chuckle from the top of the opposite stairs here, and a green slot is going to be standing there, peering over at you, um, uh, and he's going to say that the little fluffy thing is in the hands of King Ulg now. <laughs> He's fascinated by it. Oh no, that's the evilest thing you could have. Ben. Should have got a dog, didn't it? You all right? You still there, buddy? Hello? Phoenix? Oh, dear. He's still connected on the Discord. Phoenix? Hmm. Oh. <clears throat> All right, well... Uh, black blood is dripping from this the uh, the black slob's throat as it it snarls between the two of you. Um, 
it grabs its sword from the ground again um, and looks to be rushing the, the closest person to it, which is, I think, Silver at this point. I think it starts uh, to be picked up, right? What then? I think it starts to be picked up, right? Because it like, picked me up and put its cloth from its stomach. No? Right. Okay. Hello, is anyone speaking? Uh, why am I saying Phoenix? What? Yeah. Hey, Phoenix. How are you doing? <laughs> okay. Adrian. Oh, no. Adrian. Adrian. <laughs> Adrian. 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 <laughs> Okay, making dexterity to fight Andrew to climb up his back. Okay. Um, okay, Adrian, you can see the slot has noticed you. It's a massive claw is reaching back to try and dislodge you. What do you do? Okay. All right. Okay. Make a uh, make another dexterity then. <laughs> All right. Uh, you. <laughs> oh no. Um, wow. All right, choke him out. Make a hack and slash. Wow. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, roll for, uh, roll for your damage and you can add, nah, roll for your damage. <laughs> All right. Adrian, greatly daring, uh, leaps onto the slide back manages to avoid his claws uh, and chokes him out finally with her pole arm. Uh... Ah, uh, dead. Yep, dead. Yes. Gags his last breath. Uh, and starts to topple onto you, Adrian. So, yep, backwards, backwards onto you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. No. We're not having a good time here. To be fair, when you roll in plus one, you're not la likely to succeed. I never missed. What Just... percentile of getting ten or above with that? Um, I've, the odds are better that you don't manage it than you do. True. Uh, you, man you manage to almost get out under the slide before it stumbles backward, uh, collapses onto the floor, Adrian. Um, it still does two... Do you have magical armor? Yeah. Okay, so it does... Okay, it does. It does two damage to you. Goodness. Okay. The slod, the duck, black slod is vanquished. And on its bed, on its deathbed. Oh boy. Yay. <laughs> No, no player kills. Yay! <laughs> oh boy, I was worried. No one had to meet death. Or whatever happens in this world after afterlife, I don't know. As long as I don't go to hell, I don't think I'm very popular in there, right? <laughs> um... I think I now have more than just the cut on my finger. <laughs> Very painful. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> if you want. So, Phoenix, you have heard that uh, the green slide croaked across to you. Uh, I'll be right back. That uh, your the uh, the kitty cat is in the hands of King Oog. What do you do, Phoenix? Why? Why does Ook have my snowball? <laughs> he was curious about it. I, I don't know why he has it. No, I don't think you understand. Uh, Snowball's not just a cute little kitty. Oh, he really? What is really? He's an elemental mass weapon of destruction, given kitty form. Isn't that obvious? Why on earth would you take him to your leader? That's as good as ordering an assassination attempt. Quick, we must hurry and save... Good. Or whatever. <laughs> you don't want him to die? That kind of force could topple this entire... Castle, if it's not properly disarmed. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I'm pretty sure our glorious King Oog will be safe from whatever threats you might pose. Pretty sure is not 100% sure, and it's not a fair I pose. I could not control that thing if I tried. 
I just have the code to give to give to the cat so that it knows to get into contact with the right people. And do you really want to gamble Oog's life for pretty sure? Because I don't think he would appreciate you having so much doubt in his ability to survive. <laughs> I mean, look. Look at my stomach. He points to the hole in his stomach. Do you honestly think I'd be running around looking for a cat with this kind of wind? Talk about mess up priorities, man. This is life and death. I'm back, man. I can't afford to slow down. <laughs> a floating, fiery eyeball appears and peers around, and you hear the the enormously magnified voice of King Oog bellow. What is taking so long killing these little living creatures? Oog, you need to take a deep breath and do exactly as I say. Everything is in great peril. Now, I don't think you realize, but you have a massive weapon lying near you right now. Just... Stay calm, and I'll talk you through how to get rid of it. Okay. An, an now, it looks weapon, fairly white and fluffy. Yes. Horrendously powerful. But yes. still very... Bleh. It kind of shrugs. You, you, in that kind of, uh, you don't really want to go into the details. It's bad. <laughs> so... It looks white and fluffy. Can you see anything white and fluffy in your phone room? Yes, I do. It, it's purring. <gasps> oh, no. Okay, okay. Wait, don't worry. We can make it through this. <sighs> okay. The purring is the activation sequence. I need you to not move at all. Where are you? And I'll come and disarm it. Just don't move a muscle. I'll just toss it through this portal here into the fire plant. Are you kidding? You destroy the entire universes, the multiverses, all the planes of existence. Why on earth would you risk doing that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is just a mortal creature. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not a pretty sure idiot. Look, as I told Mr. Green and Moronic, pretty sure is not enough to be risking the lives of every living thing on the multiverse plane. you got to be 100% certain of these things. And look into my eyes. I am 100% certain that if that cat, he does the big quotation marks with both hands before putting them back over his stomach to stop the bleeding, is left alone and untended to we could all be doomed. I'm just going to put this into safekeeping and in, into the earth plane here, so it'll be, it'll be, okay. I'll just toss it over there. Don't touch it! He yells it. I told gone. you, you, it's already activated with the purring. It's gone. Bye-bye, little fluffy thing. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, dear. Dude, you've made a very, very horrible mistake. I'm waiting for this destruction to happen. <sighs> we're Jimmy still shakes his head sadly. <laughs> no, we're not. Dude, you've killed us all. This is the afterlife. <laughs> That's how powerful the weapon I was talking about is. We've been blasted <laughs> out of existence in the span of less than a microsecond. This is the afterlife. <laughs> Look, I can physically pull out my entrails right now, and it doesn't hurt a bit. Could I do this if I was living? He sticks his hand into the hole. <laughs> Make oh, a constitution no. check. Sure, man. <laughs> Silly man. 
Oh dear. Sally, man. Can I argue that because I'm using willpower for this, I can use wisdom? Okay. Were you going to try and monk mind over matter or something? Oh my god. Sorry, Sean, I didn't need to hear your response. Yes, you can. Oh, yeah. Never ever play poker with Phoenix. <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh, uh, what happens now? Okay. Well, if this is the afterlife, I don't feel any different, so I guess we just continue on then. Ah, but you're forgetting something. You've now lost the ability to create portals. For instance, you could not create a portal right in front of me and my friends to where you're at. You've lost that ability now. I have not. I don't think. Of course you have. Watch, try. Try and make those portals appear. Ha <sighs> <sighs> ha, see, I can. I stepped through the portal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Adrian, what's that glowing thing over there? We should run towards it. I uh, I stumble off that direction, and um, did did I see uh, Phoenix at all? By the way, Uh yes, you did. I um. I uh, hobble up the stairs, nearly falling down half the stair set before climbing up again and running up the stairs and then go passing through the portal. This is not a... This isn't a bad decision. See if we go try and take on a boss of some description in this state, we're just gonna get our ass kicked. That's all right. I can talk at I had to cast spells whilst I'm stepping through a portal, so that's fine. We'll do both one towards each of you. And uh healing, obviously. Oh, yeah. Probably healing and damage. Wow, one of them really messed up. I wonder who's getting the um the so who does and doesn't get the heal, I wonder. I imagine Silver's first port of call because Adrian is well Adrian. <laughs> Alrighty. I mean, I did say I fell down like half the stairs. I don't know if you would have passed me when I did that, but. Fair. Oh, look at that. It's like a slad, but it's evil. Like most slads. <laughs> I am King Oog! This slad exclaims as you go through the portal. Why is it? Why is it? Shush, Why is it? hold on a minute. Phoenix holds up a finger to shush the king of it and looks around. Do I spot any portals to other realms? 
like say uh, human realm. No, any other portals have closed. This was it. How is it to the? Oh yeah, how much am I getting healed for? Sorry. Phoenix. Oh, sorry. Two D. Okay. Two D healing, and then. Do you um... want to do the letter shit up? Uh, in fact, probably best to make it 3d8, because you look pretty being up. I suppose that's a good rule. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I'm back at full. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and there'll be 2d4 plus 2 damage. Towards my next attack? Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, I could literally stab something and it'll explode. That's brilliant. Um... I have um I've got several questions. Uh, oh, by the way, thank you very much. Um that massive hole in my stomach is is gone, but I still have the nick on my finger. I think you might have missed that. Um we'll get it don't worry, we'll worry about it later. Um so I have several questions. Why are we in a massive room? Why is your head on fire? Why are you ten times the size of me? We're all dead. Why have you got, why have you got eyes? Why have you got a map? Why are we dead? How did this happen? <laughs> Where so, are we? The mass atomic weapon that we were test piloting was uh, it set off by this idiot. So now we're all... <laughs> I see. Yes. That makes so much sense. <laughs> Why do you keep such an important weapon instead of something that is very mobile? Because if we kept it in one place, it would go boom and destroy everything. How have you not been paying attention to all that? And it's kind of funny to have a you know living world bomb rolling around on four legs. It's you know it's a bit of a joke, you see. <clears throat> All right, this um, this King Oog uh, in front of you is um, is another slot, but he um, he is wielding a a staff <clears throat> a staff in one hand, um, and he's sitting on an elaborate uh, throne that is um, back against the, against the wall there um and his face has been surrounded by uh flames that are masking his features except for his eyes and mouth um uh, hey uh could i have that staff that looks pretty neat <laughs> No, this is the staff I used to make portals with. I mean, I come need. on. Can we, like, share it, though? Just, like, just for five minutes. Mom said it's my turn with the staff. <laughs> Treat me with respect, you mortals. Watch. And he, uh, he... There's a... There's a slot that's coming into the side from the side here, and he points his staff at it and bzzz, beams it into a pile of ashes. Silver. Nudge, nudge. Take this and properly clothe his majesty. I'll be. T I'll go go have a word to keep him uh, amused. And he says very quietly. Wait, what did you what did you hand me? Uh, ju just a cloak. I don't think you've seen the cloak yet, so you don't know what it does. But, yep, just put it on him. It's all good. And then Phoenix steps forward. Uh, Adrian, we'll do something about your copious amounts of bleeding and sadification in a second. <laughs> well, Kingwood, you might have set off the snowball device. 
but it's okay. I have countermeasures in place for such effect. And I think we might yet be able to get back alive. Maybe. Provided you listen very carefully to the things I'm about to say. Now, Adrian here, she uses a lot of weird and wonderful magics. She has a staff. It's not as cool as your staff. It doesn't open up weird and wonderful portals except to that one weird island where we don't talk about because they were flying ninja things. He trails Wait, off. no. What, what, what island? I'm fascinated by this. No. We can't talk about the island that you're not allowed to talk about. Have you not read the chart? Uh, Phoenix, a portal opened up beneath your feet. I jumped. And you start... Okay. <laughs> Make to the it side, <laughs> Yeah, uh, Dex to fight danger, I'm guessing. Yep. <laughs> I am so chappy of these. Oh my god, what? Okay. Uh, you just managed to jump aside as the portal uh, opens in the floor. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. I was telling a story. <laughs> what about my story? Okay, okay, you can tell me a story, but you have to promise not to use the portal and staff thing on me again, okay? Or on Adrian. Or Silver. Or that gloop of snow oh, that used to be a slide. I'd feel kind of, it'd be a shame to make it teleport away again after it teleported to its death. Inside this place where we're all already dead, anyway. Oh, wait, yeah. Also, he clicks his fingers twice. Hood, you are all of us a boon. Yeah, three slad dead. He points to the one that's Hood uh, killed. One. Points to <laughs> points back through the portal. Two. And one at the entrance. Three. All killed because of us. <laughs> he does actually have a point. <laughs> Phoenix always has a point. You, you say that like I'm normally filled with lies and bullshit. <laughs> Literally tricking the devil. Alright. <laughs> yeah. That's so nuts. I don't know how many man is that. Uh, Pretty much the right. same way I managed to convince him that Snowball is possibly a uh, nuclear weapon and or he is already dead by if, very jammy dice rolls. If a bard didn't convince every NPC he encountered of some sheer magnitude of BS, then he would not be a bard. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Okay, so, um, yes, King Oog is going to, uh, give you a, an imperious stare, Phoenix, but then grudgingly have to admit that, yes, Three Slide did die since the challenge was started because of you. So, yes, the three of you do own a boo, do get a boo. Phoenix's spark can only be described as shit you think. <laughs> uh, I think it was one each. It, it was. Well, Adrian, you should probably go first because we all know what I what I want. Uh, 
and to maybe maintain your intellectual functions whilst you're a slut? Phoenix face palms. This is why we let negotiations go through the me. <laughs> All right, uh, King Oog will uh, beckon you forward, Adrian, um, and he will reach out and. Um, uh, take the time to uh, uh, sink a claw into into the wound that you originally got the uh, the slad. You are you 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 don't die. You you maintain, um, uh, but uh, you. Darkness uh, descends on you, uh, and when you when you wake up again, um, everything everything sort of looks the same. Um, but uh, King Oog will say that you now have the ability to transform into a green slot at will. Yes, you're a green slot right now. Well, it's an improvement on your normal aesthetic. Getting offers. <laughs> That's mean. Says the frogman. I don't think you're a frog anymore, but at this point. Hey, frogs are handsome creatures. They are known as princes. Uh, uh, Felix, yeah. at, at some point, your your frog head would have faded away. Um, oh, did it? All oh, right, okay. I thought I did think we'd got rid of it, but I couldn't remember when or how. So, yeah. okay, that's fine. If I may make a suggestion, you could just treat it like wild shape that he could take the form of once every so often and it counts as its own creature until it has zero hit points, in which point he reverts back. Sure, that makes sense. But then again, I don't know how that would go in terms of balancing the game, but that is one way to go about it. Isn't that quite Yeah, weird, they do. Oh, and I forgot how cool druids were in Dungeon World, actually. Like the telltale signs and everything. Neat. Um, okay, uh, Silver, what kind of boon are you looking for? Okay, so I, I kind of stop skirting around the edge of the room, take a deep breath, and approach in a much more uh, deliberate and serious style manner, and I speak up to the Frog King man, um, King yep. Oog. Not that oh. Frog King, the other Frog King. Oh, um, okay. Uh, <clears throat> I was actually wondering if I could have information instead of a boon. Do you know much about the mortal plane? This is the plane of transformation. Yes, it is. Uh, and at some sense, at the at the 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 bedrock of the of the mortal planes. Yes. What you, can I tell you? I would like to know the location of a pyromancer by the name of Kandra. <laughs> uh, 
Oh dear. Uh interesting. Kandra, Kandra. Oh, I know, I know her, actually. I gave her the gift of flames when she was, when I, when I first took over this wonderful throne and position. Let me see. She, he, King Oog, uh, summons up a, a globe of, of fire and peers into it. Um... It appears that hmm, it appears that she is a, a general now. Um, she sure. uh, is working um, in a vast army, but um, at the moment she is actually. Uh, here among this plane, um, trying to recruit uh, fiery elementals to join the cause. And this would be considered the plane of fire or something like that? Oh no, it's a plane of transformation, you said. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of mixing my, my terms. Um, let's, let's see. You didn't see the. Uh... One second. Okay, so um, there was like a mosaic down at the bottom, down um, where you guys first entered this. In fact, it's probably everywhere. Um, but there's a common mosaic in this in this place where the um, it's kind of a map of this particular plane of transformation, and in the center where you guys are right now where this, there's um, the chaotic region where all the elements are sort of born and mixing together and it's all a chaotic mess. But further towards the edges, um, the elements kind of start to clump together. So um, towards the west, if you want to think of the west, direction west, um, there is the part of the plane of transformation where the fire energies have all clumped together. And then the north is the earth energies and okay. east is the the water energies and south is the airy energy. So that's where gra gradually if you travel in those directions it becomes more and more like those particular pure uh, elements. And then in between them there's the mixes of the of the so, four major elements, so we're right at the right at the very center, right where that black dot is right now. So if I was to take a guess, I think he's trying to tell me that Kandra's roughly around near the chaotic region, but like on the west edge near the plane of fire. Yes. Okay. Cool. I got that on it then. That is me. That's everything I wanted. Okay. Mr. Phoenix? Hey, it. So, uh, Bin, huh? Bins are funny, funny things. And despite our best efforts for asking, none of your uh, slad people were particularly forthcoming as to what your powers actually involve. So, care to... Well, enlighten us. What would a boon entail? What can we actually ask for? Anything we like? Uh, if if it's within my sphere of influence to grant, yes, I can. I can give it to. You. I can give you that boon. And you so will 100% with complete honesty uh, grant it. You will not back out in your word here. Yep. Okay. 
Where are you going with this? <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry, I missed that. Uh, yeah, I said, where, where are you going with this? <laughs> Out of character. Yeah. <laughs> or in character. Is that uh, his response? Out of character, yeah. Out of character, I'm thinking along the lines of obviously this used to be a very important place and the slad have kind of corrupted it. If he's the ruler of the slad and he clearly has control over whether or not they can turn back or not, I was going to ask him to completely restore the tower to its former glory. Uh, you bring back all the slad that we've killed restore them back to whatever creatures they were before this, and restore the tower uh, to the heart of what it, uh, I think it was Ras you said before, was the ruler. Basically restore yes. it all back to that. that. That's where he's going with this. Wow. Uh... You forget, Phoenix at his heart is a good guy. So all he wants is for people to be okay. And so, removing the slad curse from everyone, that he's quite content with that. <laughs> well, everyone except... Adrian, who apparently wants to be a green monstrosity thing. <laughs> but he won't judge. Would that, undo, would that ever, like, would that just fuck over Adrian in general? Like, how would that work with her? Well, remember, restoring the tower, once she leaves the tower, she'd be able to turn slad. Because I'm just asking for the tower to be restored. Not for all slad to be wiped out of the way. Multiverse. Fair. Like, genocide is not exactly a good thing to wish for, after all. It's valid. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I'm going to say that wouldn't work as a boon, necessarily, because it's kind of beyond... Your personal scope. That makes sense. Could I ask for the ability to be granted the ability to do so? You can ask for Snowball back. No, I'm about to get Snowball back anyway. I have a plan for that. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. If we can't do that, then I wish for the ability to restore. Sorry, give me a second. I'll wait for this. <laughs> I... Oh, I wish, man. I wish. Phoenix, wish not here. I'm not going out to get an ice cream. Anyway, um... I don't have money for that. Okay. <laughs> um... Sadness. Okay. I wish for. Phoenix to be able to control the state of a slat. If Adrian can control her own slat ability, I wish for the ability to be able to revert a slat back into previous states by my will. That way I can at least revert slats, even if I can't necessarily cleanse the entirety of the place. Is that more reasonable? Plus, it means I can raise my slad friend because I'll just find his body and say, "Turn back alive." <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can have that ability. Um, I am slad talker, I guess. <laughs> whisperer, slad whisperer. Slad whisperer. <laughs> okay, yep, you can do that. He places his great meaty hand on your head and says, you have the... What, what is your name? Huh? You have not heard of Gonzo the Clown? Of Phoenix? Of... Uh, he mutters very quietly so no one can hear him. You have not heard of me? The Sky God? <laughs> Here, here's Phoenix. my pamphlet. I hand him a pamphlet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he places his hand on your head. Phoenix, you have the ability now to turn a slad, a singular slad, back into its previous... No, shape. no, that wasn't what I asked for. I said all slads. Phoenix says. 
I was quite specific. The slide that you can focus on into their previous shapes. Fair. Except me. Not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're trying to do. Sneaky. Yeah. Assuming that works like zombies, we don't really know how they work that well. But yeah, if he, if he adds in the uh, except me, I'm just going to shrug at that and go, oh well, I try. Uh, so, um... You feel a new, a new power awaken in you to um, focus on a on a slide and force it back into its previous shape, Phoenix. Okay, Phoenix walks over to the dead slide. Come back, brother. Tries to re res it. It's still dead. No, hey, you cheated me. I turn around. I said I wanted to be able to control the state of being and revert them. Okay, the the piles of ash turn into a dead elf corpse. Again, he turns back to Ood. State of being. I wanted them alive. State of being is very open. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you are actually busting DM's balls here, mate. <laughs> I know, I know. This is why you never say I'm going to offer an open boon to someone like me. But... Another portal opened up in front of you. On the floor, Phoenix. Uh... I will, I will look towards Silver and give him a nod towards the uh, cloak before I fall through. Uh, I, I'm not, I can't entirely remember what I was supposed to do with this. <laughs> um, I, uh, <clears throat> a King Oak, I, would you like to, um, Wear this fine garment as I look to Phoenix like, what, what am I doing? <laughs> Phoenix face palms. <laughs> Again, uh, well, we're, whilst falling through said portal, I guess. Where do I? Uh, the portal itself is... Um, where, where you're standing now, Phoenix, is now a pit of lava. Lava! I'll sit on top of my adamantium shield. <laughs> they better get me out soon, he mutters. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep, so you are now standing on your adamantium shield, and the lava starts to bubble and pour out of the portal, and cover start to creep into the floor here. Uh... <laughs> Oh, wait, I haven't been teleported away. I guess I... Yeah, I'll jump off and pull my shield away. <laughs> could, you, could you pull the shield with the lava? I'll use a grappling hook. <laughs> I'm not losing my adamantium shield. <laughs> I think it was awesome. I, I, I looked to the slide that was once Adrian and I gestured towards the cloak frantically. Don't worry about it, guys. Not necessary anymore. Good. All right, but just in hindsight, what was this actually supposed to do? Uh, maybe we discuss this later in case it becomes necessary. <laughs> if 
Is Phoenix in the clear? Can I wander over to him right now? Sure. I, I wander over to him and give him the cloak back. Thank you. Also, excuse me a second. I, I think he starts pulling out bandages at this point because the blood loss is beginning to make him very dizzy and struggling to work out what's what. <laughs> Why didn't you just wish to be able to cure like an infected people or something? Like, why are you trying to to mess with this man that can create the portals of lava beneath your feet? Because he can only cure people that are slads, and the slad that I want most want back is the one that's already dead. You missed him. He was a really good guy, firm believer in the thing. You Unjustly know killed. about him. Hey, I know plenty about Slad number seven. That was his name, yes. What do you know about Slad? Okay, whatever. Yeah, no, okay. Phoenix absolutely knows nothing about this Slad. He's just <laughs> being strange. <laughs> Okay, the, the lava continues to pour out of the portal. What do you guys do? King Oog is back on his throne watching you, twiddling his thumbs. You know, we have a phoenix here over in the fire side of things. I want me to call him over. You can meet him, phoenix. Ooh. Phoenix, phoenix, phoenix. That does sound cool. I think yeah, it's like the worst phoenix. idea that anyone has ever had. Let's not do that. Wait. Phoenix looks at, at, at Oog, looks back at the dead body, thinks about what Phoenix tears do. Yeah, yeah. Definitely bring the Phoenix here. Oh, also, can you teleport the, uh, or portal of port, the other slad, slad number seven here? <laughs> <laughs> like so if you had to so King Oog if you had to rate yourself on a scale of like 1 to 10 how powerful do you think you are in relation to us in relation to who like in re so if like the hypothetically in a you know a scenario if we really wanted that that the staff of make lava from you uh, like, what if we were like in a duel in like a 3v1 scenario? Like, who do you think would win? Like, if you had to rate yourself on a scale of like one to ten, you know, I'm not I... saying that that's gonna happen, I'm just you know, curious. <laughs> I would say on a scale of one to ten that I'm a ten and you're a zero. I mean, Colin. the minimum was one, but yes, I... Okay, I... I get Zero. <laughs> Do you really, really want that staff that badly? It's also, it's... Phoenix Tide. What? Phoenix asks Silver, do you really want the uh, staff that badly? Hey, dude, it could literally make lava. Like, look at that thing, it's so cool. I don't think it makes lava so much as it makes a port to lava and the lava just flows through it. I'm pretty sure it just makes portals. But that's like even better. We could like magically have portals whenever we need it, you know? That's like really cool. Ah, fine, fine. Silver. Passes that. You take this. Put it over his shoulders. Adrian oh. Slad, can you put this? Can you make him invisible to make him do that? This is all whispered conversation, by the way. Oh, and you'll need this. I pull out a bird cage for my adventuring gear. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? The, how the fuck are you carrying that? <laughs> <laughs> Was it like an IKEA bird cage? Like, like what? <laughs> you don't carry bird cages with you on every adventure. They're like little tiny cages for animals and 
yeah, very useful. So yeah, tiny, it's a little animal tiny, cage essentially. Tiny quote unquote. <laughs> Unless you're stuffing a bird in there, like I think it probably, you know, you'd have a better size to it. Yeah, it's only a raven, it's a pretty small bird. Oh, I'm staying, okay. staying away from that. King. That succeeds. Surely the slot is looking at us all talking in the corner and he just sees one of us go invisible. I don't think that's the uh, best image, but we can roll with it. <laughs> King <laughs> Oob will peer over at you seeing the, seeing the person uh, disappear from the party. And uh, will open up another portal against the wall and call Phoenix, come forth. You're yes. um, your God demands it, and a immense heat will rush into the chamber as the Phoenix flies through the portal and into this room. <clears throat> hey, Adrian, you see the resemblance? I was named after one of these. <laughs> Pops his chest up, <laughs> just like a bird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Phoenix, could you maybe cry on poor... Blue slad over here that's no longer blue slad, it's now an elf. There's no stealth straight up. Um, I would like to like skirt around the edges of the room while no one's really paying attention to me. Um, and just try and like shimmy my way towards the slad if that's cool. Okay, you can do that. Um, make a dexterity. Fire danger. Cool. I mean, nobody's really paying attention to you, but. Uh, it's always an eight. Why? All right. Well, you, you succeed since you're also invisible as well. Um, okay. Oh, sorry. How many? Wait, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna do that from here. I didn't know where I went. Oh, okay. I like. I was trying to put the trying to put the ninja mask on you. Sorry, I uh, doctor stranged into another dimension and came back momentarily. <laughs> All according to plan. Yeah, that's what invisibility does to you. <laughs> Uh, okay, everybody in the womb is going to feel that blistering heat of the phoenix um, beating into them with every flap of its wings. What do you guys do? Uh, and it is, this, this heat is, is quite dangerous to you guys. Uh, oh, right, to, be, okay. to be in the presence of this the I have no way to negate that, so I'm just gonna stop scurrying around the side of the wall and actually take a sprint at this salad with that cape. Uh... That needs to happen right now. Hmm. I wonder how much we need a. Nah. I'm going to position myself so that the uh, closest person to the phoenix is the king slad, if that's right. Uh, okay. Just kind of backing away from the phoenix whilst continuing to ask it to greet over my uh, blue slad. Does it seem intelligent at all? Yes, it does. 
Hello, how are you, Mr. Phoenix? Uh, why have I been summoned here? Great King Oog. And this one here has the same name as you. He says and points out to Phoenix. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Phoenix does a kind of two-figured slot. <laughs> ah, yes. The most efficient use of the Phoenix's time. Plus, we also need you to resurrect a few slad people that are dead. Because someone... Versus, Phoenix versus Phoenix, yes! Go, fight! King Oog is getting a kick out of this. Hmm. Okay, Phoenix says, standing forward into the room. But we start in my signal. Well, I say standing forward, he basically pushes himself just slightly in front of Adrian, but still has King Slad, who, sorry, <laughs> cl closest to the Phoenix and stares it down for a second. Okay. On my count, when I get to five, I would definitely hope that everything will go well when I get to five. Like, <laughs> if we had anything planned, that would be the time when I'd hope it would be executed. One. I start I start climbing the wall so I can get above the slab in that case. Two. Three. I ready the cloak. Four. Four and a half. Four and three quarters. Oh just hurry up and say five. Five. <laughs> I dropped down from the ceiling on the slab. <laughs> I was waiting for you to have already done it before I got to that. Oh, God. Okay, what's happening here? You're dropping a cloak on the slab? I'm going to, like, jump on the slab's back, and I don't know how Phoenix expects me to do this for a creature that's, like, literally twice my size, but I'm going to try and wrap my arms around and get a cloak on it. <laughs> That's why I was so confused in the first place. I was like, you want me to what? <laughs> you just you put it over its back and its shoulders and it'll c convert it. It's a magic cloak. I did, well, okay, that was not explained. You were just no, like, it wasn't. Good. I couldn't tell you, hey, we've got a magic cloak that'll turn up the evil god into a bird. And that's how we're going to steal the staff away, because he can't hold it whilst he's a bird. Oh, and that's what the birdcage is for. <laughs> that would be too elaborate. I feel like some intermission, like, before we went for the portal, would have really helped with this. <laughs> we were all busy bleeding to death. <laughs> okay, I see where you're coming from, but at the same time, like... I was just supposed to know any of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, put the put this put this mundane ass looking cloak around this uh, creature that's like hey, three, you just twice need to the size of you. He, Phoenix says, "When has he ever led you wrong?" It's less about going to do the action and just how how would I go about doing the action under the assumption it was a normal cloak, you know? Like, do I just go, "Hey, Slad, like put this on," or like, like where would I? <laughs> Says the point. I'm, I'm jumping on the slide with the cloak now. All right. Let's say this is a bat. Let's say let's say this has the mechanism of a backstab. All right. Cool. Oh gods. Do I get any kind of aid or interfere with this? Is I'm invisible or? Yes, you get plus one because you're invisible. Cool. Cool. Uh, where are the backstab? Stab. No. <laughs> oh no, seven. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ew. Thank God. Right. All right. Oh, thank God for that. Plus one. Okay. Yeah. That would have been the uh, party weight prey there. Yeah, well, believe it or not, I, did have, I, I do still have the way of dealing with the Phoenix that I'm working on, but yeah, that, that would have been bad. So I guess I just kind of yeet my lifeless corpse onto the slab and see how that goes. <laughs> okay. Um all right. Wow. 
Uh, King Oog is going to... Um, okay, before your very eyes, um, <clears throat> as the cloak drops down over, over King Oog, his form is going to shrink and feathers are going to sprout out of it. And every piece of everything that he is and everything that he's holding is going to turn into a raven that sits there stunned for a moment. As his little tiny bird brain tries to figure out what in the world just happened to him. And his, his, his head is still on fire, by the way. Oh, cool. I get to have a pet bird now. Thanks, Phoenix. Not you, oh. Phoenix. The other Phoenix. Sorry, but we need the other Phoenix to uh, get rid of him, so... Uh. Oh, great Phoenix, great and mighty bird, don't you know your god is a turd? I say we work together as birds of a feather. We flock together. To beat him up! <laughs> Where am I hiding, actually? And I, I don't want to be too much of a crude, your great and majestic creep yourself, but uh, we're all kind of getting caught on fire right now, so, um, you know. <laughs> Roasty, toasty, little... I can literally feel my skin peeling away, you know. I, I don't want to be rude, but... Oh, okay. I what? No what I... <laughs> it has an action. But I just brain controlled the Phoenix. Why are we using <laughs> random chemicals? Uh, okay, Adrian, you're flinging this potion randomly. Okay. One See, this is. Two... Three, four, five people. Okay, slash roll one d five. See, this is why you really need to discuss your plans with us, Phoenix, before you have us jump into these. Like, uh, literally, I, I did. I literally told you. I gave no instructions to Adrian. Adrian was not to take part for because of this. This is why Adrian was not to take part. <laughs> I gave her the simplest task of all. Don't do anything. Nah, I'm just going to put it down to your leadership skills. <laughs> That's easier. Okay. The mysterious, strange potion that Adrian has been carrying around for quite a few, quite a long time, uh, splashes into the back corner where... It lands on the invisible silver. Oh dear. What have you done to me, Adrian? Uh, <laughs> I'm blue. Uh, no, no, okay. It lands on silver and it lands on the on the king who turned into a raven. Uh, so. Oh boy. Alright. Silver is invisible, but um, for the raven, you can see that its feathers are starting to fall out, and it's turning uh, a, a very white and um, kind of a chalky sort of uh, color. Just to interject as well, since the backstab technically counts as an attack, I think it would be made visible again because of it. I, I think so, yeah. So I should probably put myself here. Actually. So how weird is Silver looking? Uh, silver, you're invisible, but um, 
like your um uh, your oh, no, I thought your... it was first of all because of the back stuff. Yeah. What uh since Oh, okay. All right, so yes, okay, in that case. Um, Silver, you, you're visible. The potion sprays over you. Um, your, your hair immediately starts to, starts to fall out. Um, and your hair, your hair falls out. Your skin turns kind of a, a pasty, very pale uh, white color. It creeps down to your arms and extremities. And uh, your your nose kind of sinks into your face a bit. Oh, Adrian! <laughs> you literally turn me into Voldemort. Uh, Adrian, when I'm done with this, I love Phoenix. We're gonna have strong words. Strong, strong words. <laughs> In a blight of annoyance, I'm going to pick up this staff. The, oh, has the staff been turned? Or have I still got the staff? Or is the staff uh, in the Or is it? What's happening with that? Let me... Uh, yeah, ev everything that the, the uh, King Oog was holding uh, got turned into the raven along with him. Damn. Well, those look like rather narrow hallways that a phoenix could not get down, so I suggest you run in that direction. Well, I'm... actually, phoenix phoenix is, did still try and convince the, the bird to attack King U. Yeah, I, I did. Which is still on, just... still on the Crazy performance. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll let him do his thing then. Uh, yeah, so, um, Phoenix, Phoenix, yeah. Phoenix, yep. Hi. uh, since this is a legendary creature, can you do one more charisma to fight danger to convince it to, uh, to be on your side here and attack its god? Uh, okay. God. Well, uh, charisma defy danger, or do you just? Want, I suppose it won't make any difference actually uh, whether I use the move or not. Uh, defy danger. Man, we need to recruit a phoenix. <laughs> As if we don't have enough animals on our ship. I'm pretty sure it would set the ship on fire just by being in but yeah. It's not a permanent recruit move, guys. It's, it's literally for one attack, but... Mm, we, we destroyed the raven, we pulled the cloak off it, we have the staff, suddenly we're back in business. There we go. Alright. Right. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. The... Okay, the uh, the phoenix will give a huge, uh, powerful screech and flap its wings and huge um, feathery bolts of flames will shoot down into the uh, transformed uh, bird and... Ah, uh, you guys are all still in the room. Yep. Okay. Oh, no, <laughs> scared Potter. <laughs> this is this is the real origin story of Voldemort. <laughs> all right, massive gushes of flame are going all around the room um, in addition to the phoenix's mere presence uh, burning you guys. Um, 
everybody make a, co a constitution to fight danger here to try and withstand these blasts? Not so much. Oh. If 100. Yes. Oh, yes, you got to run. Right, right, right. Yep. Okay. Do you, right. do you guys want to call it after the Phoenix engagement in that case? I think so. Once once we're out of the Phoenix, yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair. Yeah. Have a good, good that one, Daniel. While Daniel's away, I get to say nice things behind his back. <laughs> Daniel is a wonderful individual. <laughs> that was sure. Um, All right. So uh, Silver, you um, from the from the presence of the phoenix and the flames gushing about the room, um, you only take uh, seven damage from from that. Oh, Phoenix, damn, too much. Phoenix and Adrian, however, um, uh, don't have quite the uh, the bodies uh, to withstand these flames, and they each take ten damage as the Phoenix finishes up. Oh shit! It's attack. Does someone want to aid or interfere with Adrian? I would, but I don't think I can take another hit like that. Oh, Whereas, goodness. Um, I will... I will... do my so, best. Also... Oh, well, this might be relevant, uh, Sean. Yeah. yeah. That test that I failed, that put me at 15 XP. Obviously, normally, you need to be at your... You need to be resting for the XP level up to be happening. But you know how we discussed before about it being the possibility of getting apophysis and becoming part demigod? This could be yeah. a really good time for that. <laughs> Especially given it would be in the face of a phoenix. Uh, oh, I like that. I really like that. Yeah. Because uh. obviously the one bonus XP for uh, filling a test would actually get me my level up for here. Wow. Okay. Man. So what are we doing? Oh, you, you'll have missed this one, mate. Um, basically, I was talking with Sean about the idea of the whole starting a cult thing has been quite hilarious. And for my last level up, I was talking about the cleric has a move that basically lets him get one part of his god's abilities. Uh... And basically, I was joking about the idea. Wouldn't it be funny if I actually ended up becoming like a, uh, like a god, even though I was actually just doing this cult of personality? Oh, see, if you can convince this phoenix to be like your mentor or like some kind of like being beyond the pale for you or something like that, then you'd probably be pretty close to doing that. Well, I did. I did. I convinced it to burn its its uh, god. That's right, so it can rise as the Phoenix King, and you could be like the, the baby Phoenix Phoenix King. like, ooh. Or you could be the Phoenix King, I don't know how this is going to run out. We'll find out. There's something along those lines. Good work. Alright, Phoenix. Um, I'm going to say that you... You, uh, you kind of leap in front of the, the flames that were surging towards um, Adrian, if this is all right. Um, yeah. You kind of absorb that energy, um, and you hover at the very, very edge of, of death here. Um, you, uh, you in fact will will see the um, the spirit of 
the the god of death hover uh, appear before you. Um, but the phoenix will sort of swoop down and um, say to you, phoenix, that you have a way of kindling people to do greater things. You could be my hero if you want to survive this and um, become greater than a than just a bard. Wow. Yeah, I... Thank you, oh great phoenix. I, I've always wanted to be a... Sorry, did you say herald or hero? Herald. Oh, oh yeah, I can be a herald. Godly herald, that works for me. Meanwhile, I am screaming my life away in the corner. Quiet, yeah. Some of us are having a god-to-god moment. <laughs> my face, it burns! Oh, boy. Can I rescue my friends as well? Phoenix? Adrian and... Oh, no, he says, Silver and... I suppose Adrian. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes. Um, the, uh, the... What, what kind of features of, of the Phoenix do you, do you want with Apophysis? Um. Oh, dude, you could have like an awesome phoenix tail or something. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Phoenix wings sound pretty awesome, but the oh, how like I've been working off the assumption that phoenixes somehow have ability to resurrect in this world. Mm-hmm. Could it work like Final Fantasy, where they do it with a phoenix down, like one of the downfellers? I can just grow downfellers to resurrect people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, and I pull them out. Uh, yeah, that that works if you have like you know four or five feathers, whatever you pluck one out. And... Yeah. Okay, sure. That makes sense for rescuing Adrian as well. I pull out one of my new tail feathers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I still had the frog head. Frog head and phoenix tail feathers. <laughs> You'd literally be monstrosity. I am a herald of the gods, thank you very much. I am no monstrosity. <laughs> you know what, I can't really contest you. You've kind of got a phoenix behind you, so... Uh... <laughs> I mean, if you say you're a god, then alright. Yeah, sure, yeah. fair enough. Like, I have the head of a frog. The talking ability of slad. And t- Phoenix tail feathers, apparently. <laughs> oh. All right, you, uh, Phoenix, you, uh, you pluck out one of your, one of your, your newfound uh, tail feathers. Um, it glows a beautiful orange color, um, and you set it down on Adrian's corpse and the feather dissolves into her her body and you can see life come back to her her cheeks um, and she blinks up at you in confusion. We never speak of this. It never happened. <laughs> I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> Uh, Thank she you. She says, "She says, oh. no. This is going in my. This is going in my memoirs. How you? S- Can you make it so Silver saved you? I, I, I don't want that kind of reputation. Since, since when do you not want a reputation, Felix? I want a reputation for saving people that matter, Adrian. You know, good people. People that don't throw fireballs into stairways and burn people alive for no reason. Who don't throw weird face-melting potions at their friends. Those kinds of people. I don't want a reputation for saving... You? (laughs) Oh, God. My hair. My face. I'm burned. I'm horrific. 
<laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Adrian, you go do first aid or whatever. I'm I'm gonna go get the stuff from the Raven. So is is this my life now? I just fucking balls over for the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> like... Well, theoretically, Adrian could cast a spell at a place of power, like the ritual right. thing to restore you. So all is not lost. But yes, you you are pretty ugly until then. All right, cool. I just keep my uh, my whole hood and mask going on then. For now. <laughs> to be fair, um... <laughs> you you fit in quite well with the fe- phoenix feathers and the. Slads princess over there. Yeah, that's true. We're like a, we're like a crew of misfits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Back. I, I feel left out with only just some tail feather. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Man. All right, all right. So <laughs> I guess we're going to get the staff, right? Yep. Okay. The, uh, Adrian, um, yeah, uh, eventually the uh, the cloak will will kind of disintegrate around the around the burned off raven, um, and you will be left with uh, the charred corpse of the former Slad King Oog. His flames have gone out. Aw, I just paid for this. I mean, yeah, it's a shame someone died as well, but I literally just got the down payment finished on this cloak. <laughs> it, got, it got obliterated by the Phoenix fire. Oh yeah, 100%. There's no way I should have been getting that back. <laughs> <laughs> but Phoenix is rather petulant. <laughs> Uh, and beside him will be the staff that he was wielding. Okay. I gave up the cloak. I want the weird staff of teleporting us. Really? Why not? I think I would do great with a weird staff of teleporting us. <laughs> Plus, and far more importantly, Phoenix starts casting portals to try and get to the mortal realm because we we have a snowball to risk. We do. <laughs> See, I told you I had a plan to rescue Snowball, and you thought I didn't. Wow, you're right. <laughs> uh, okay. the The staff is um is is almost kind of shielding itself from your touch as you try to reach it, Phoenix. Okay. Um, Adrian, any idea what this is about? Oh, wait, actually. Bardic lore, I might be able to know what this is about. Okay, Bardic lore. Um, yeah, item. So... You've gotten a lot of use out of that. It is a phenomenally good skill. Uh, we don't what? need your bardic nonsense. Don't worry about it. I'll go down and grab the stuff. No, no. We rescue Snowball. <laughs> well, we need to pick up the staff for that, surely. Yeah, but I've got the staff. I point out. Where is he holding it? I thought when he was like trying to reach for it, it was like repelling him. Or is it just the use of it that repels him? Uh, no, I, the, the staff was, um, kind of warding itself against you grabbing it, Phoenix. Oh, right, okay. Is it, like, preventing him, or is it just, like, giving him, like, a stay-back kind of feeling about it? Yeah, yeah, it's giving him, like, a, a stay-back sort of feeling. Alright, I'm, I'm literally just gonna wander over while he's, like, hmm, over the top of the staff and just grab it with my bare hands. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, no, like gray. <laughs> Sorry. 
Uh, your bardic lore is telling you that this staff um, was very probably um, the staff that was wielded by the god Ras, whose castle this actually is. And it is a very, very powerful uh, artifact. Okay. To confirm, so, we we don't know what happened to Ras. Yeah, you killed the guy who knew. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I I guess I'll pray to my Phoenix Herald to ask if they have any ideas, or the Phoenix I am the Herald of, I guess. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, the, um, the Phoenix, uh, does know that about, oh, 20 years ago or so, um, there was a great disturbance in the, in all of the, all of the plane of transformation, uh, which... Um, and after which uh, the phoenix was aware that um, King Oog had somehow miraculously taken over the, the throne of transformation uh, and wielding the staff um, was able to subjugate uh, quite a few elementals. But other than that, the phoenix doesn't know precisely what transpired in this castle. Does it believe the slot would know? Uh, yeah. Okay. Can we tie up the blue slide? And that is that is now a person. Yeah. Yeah. It's now, no. Yep. Yeah. I'm. 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 I. I don't. I don't know how it works. So I don't know if it, it removes its memories or or not. But uh, yeah, tie up the blue slide and then ask ask it once we pop a feather into it. I guess. I'm gonna run out of these. But... <laughs> and you are burning this. I can't leave people dead. It's not right for a, a good character. Yeah, but you know, it's a slide. I mean, <laughs> I feel like an exception for me. <laughs> uh, actually, Phoenix, you have that amulet of speak to dead. Oh, crap. Yeah, sorry. No, that's a very good shout. Very good shout. I will uh, use the amulet of speak to dead. Hello, Mr. Elf slide person. Number 24. Okay, I believe this works. I can ask you three questions. Yes. So my first question would be, what did Ra uh, Ud do to Raz? Oh, yes. He used to. He used to tell that story quite frequently. Uh, he went on a quest off into the off into the farthest reaches of the plane of transformation here and he came back with a a dagger that was imbued with uh, the potential to overcome wrath um and then he very slowly worked his way into the good graces of the god, became his trusted advisor, and then stabbed him in the back with the 
artifact dagger. Um, and then Rass fell into a deep, deep sleep. And he, he always he always said, Rass has taken a dirt nap. Um, and that, then King Oog took over the uh, took over the, the throne. What happened to the dagger? Uh, he never said what happened to the dagger. Is it possible to... Sorry, let me rephrase that. How can we uh, wake up Raz? Um... Well, uh, he he never he never said how to wake up grass either. Sorry. That's all right. Thank you very much for your help. Ed. The the uh, the slide will will go back into its peaceful repose once again. Uh, so, guys, do you think it's safe to speak to him? He points towards the dead figure of Oog. Uh, not even slightly, but I like this neat glow stick you gave me. I'm gonna pick up this staff. Oh, you put that down. It's not ours. Okay. We need to give it back to Ras, and we can. Uh, Silver, um, if you are gonna grab the staff, um, make a Constitution defy danger. Do fun. All right. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Lord. my god. Fucking <laughs> okay, brilliant. You, you get so much experience though per session, man. You must be ra <laughs> racking up the levels. Well, well, not this session. I've only had one true fail. No, wait, I've had more than one. No, I've only had one. I think. Okay. Silver. Uh, as you reach out to touch the staff. Um, you, you are going to be jolted, um, and the world is going to fade from your consciousness, and you slip into a near-death state. Make a last breath. Oh my fucking god, it's <laughs> <crap. laughs> Holy shit. Um... Oh. I didn't think we would be going to that extreme. Uh, so that's just 2d6, right? Uh, yeah, it's just 2d6 with no modifiers. Well, all right. Oh, that's... Yeah. Okay. Um, how obvious is it that he's slipping from existence? He's pretty much... Uh, he's pretty much slumping to the ground and stopping breathing. Okay. This might help you out here, it might not. What if I turn him into a slad? Because obviously Oog was able to hold the staff. Maybe slad are immune. Can you do that? I have the ability to control the state of slads. And technically, he did get stabbed by one through the chest. So he is slowly turning He's at the very, very start of the process, so I'll just accelerate it right through. Uh, I don't know if it would save him, but uh, <laughs> Phoenix has to try, at the very least. Yeah. You can try, Phoenix, but uh, King U was just a monster of a... Of yeah, a, I, I, I thought um, that. Yeah. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Damn, man. What do you mean? As quick as that? Yeah, fuck, just, you know, pick up a staff, you die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, I'm real sorry, but wow. I didn't fucking know the staff would do that. <laughs> That's amazing. Hey, man, you can't. <laughs> You don't need to apologize because we knew we were messing around with a staff of a great and powerful god. And yeah, but, but yeah, 
just down. Just unlucky. I do, I, I, like, can't I even help you on any that. of the rules because it wouldn't. Oh, can you? No, you can't get aid or interfered with. Uh, no, not last breath. La, not last breath. I, I just like to. I just like to imagine that, like, because you have um, the Grim Reaper in your world, right? Is that like a constant for yeah. your game? So I imagine he just rolls up and goes, right. Silver, you've literally fucked with too much shit. Can you, I, I think we have to stop this now. No, he, he walks up and goes, look, I, I'm trying my best to take this guy. He points to Phoenix. I'm trying my best to get her. They, they just won't budge. They've got some kind of massive copyright protection on them. <laughs> so you're the best I could get. Sorry, man. Just uh, Speaking of copyright protection, protection, man, I think that's why I need to take you there now. We can't have Voldemort running around this game. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I think that brings a couple of um, fair use out. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. yeah uh, Silver, um, yeah, you, uh, through, through the darkness that descends on your, on your consciousness, uh, you see a a masked entity with a sigh come closer and closer uh, and it takes your hand and pulls you off into into dark oblivion and you pass away from touching a staff <laughs> phoenix uh, not phoenix uh, silver died as he lived <laughs> doing the actual dumbest shit humanly imaginable <laughs> The epitome I, of chaotic. Yeah. I imagine this probably hits Phoenix quite hard. Because obviously, despite his best efforts, Silver is not coming back. And feel, yeah, he'll like definitely were... be trying to put more fellers in, but I death is fine. Death is final. Uh, I, feel, I feel like that's one of the instances where Phoenix may have turned around, seen like. Um, like Silver pick up the staff immediately fall to the ground. He has to take a moment to actually register what's happened. Yeah. Well, I did jail. Wait, no, Silver don't. And then you already did it anyway. <laughs> oh, check out this neat glow stick, guys. <laughs> Silver, my good friend, Silver. Oh, okay. Well, that sucks. I guess. Oh well. Okay, wow. Well, I think this is maybe a good point to pause the session. Um, yeah, yeah, I think so. Damn. Because, yeah, wow, that was... Uh... Wait, did you actually have that red as, like, the effect that was going to happen with that? If, like, someone went to grab it? What's that? Did you have that red as, like, the effect of the staff if someone went to grab it? Yeah. There. I don't think Sh Sean wouldn't just hit you with an instant kill without yeah, having it planned fair. in advance. You, 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 like you, you, got, you guys have survived so much. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not, I'm not throwing down insta kills randomly here. Yeah, no. Staff was. Um, you know, it's fine. It happens. It was a good run. It's the. I mean, you died to a staff man. <laughs> Like, we like... actually talked down in this in this session alone. We talked down some kind of godly figure, some kind of super monster that has a staff of portals and um, commands an army of parasitic zombie monster things, and the phoenix. And you died to a staff. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, I feel like the death was actually very appropriate for the character. Very, 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 very the way I've been. The way I've been playing him is he's like, he's a very chaotic individual. He does not plan things for us. So I'm just going, oh, look, a glow stick and dies. That's literally like the perfect way for him to die, to be totally honest. Uh... <laughs> oh, man. I mean. I probably would have had it any other way, to be honest. All right. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it relatively. I think Phoenix will swear to Silver's body at the very least to try and do his best for um, what was his quest for tracking oh, down yes. the 
I, I've got I've got to follow that through for my dear friend who I will now never know was actually only my dear friend through due to a weird drug hallucination thing. But no, this is my true and dearest friend. So yeah, fair, fair. I'd appreciate that as a player. Yeah, no worries. I will do, I will do what I can to hunt down your childhood friend. And we have new information on that as well. We do. We know she's chilling with some kind of army. So uh, you know, good luck with that. Hey, I, I do surprisingly well around armies, apparently. Just talk to them, and talk to them, and talk to them, and eventually they either stab me and get me to stop talking, or they give up. That's fair. Alright, yeah, well, cool. We're up out there. Uh, I don't think I need to stick around for XD. <laughs> 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 but aside to the point. Um, yes, and I'll get back to you with what I'll be doing next time. Um, again, if uh, this is just as like a general note, uh, one of the two options I'm presented with right now is I can really make a new character for your game, or if you wish to offer my position up to a new player, since I've been relatively inconsistent with my uh, appearances over the course of the last couple of games, and understand from a DM's perspective that that could be quite, uh, I mean, it could be quite devastating to keep campaign running when a player is like that. So. If you'd rather have someone else jump in who could be more consistent, uh, I would totally understand. Otherwise, I can just make a new character for next session. Uh, um, no, I mean the the times when when you're here um, are, are awesome. I I think certainly uh, rolling up another character would would be fine. I I kind of I kind of do try to have like you know it doesn't depend on one particular person. Um, Right. For the session. So uh no, I, I think no, I think we're gonna continue to have you around. Right. Fantastic, yeah. I'll uh, I'll get back to you with my next character then. Uh, I'll uh, I'll need to see what I'm doing with that. Um I actually don't know. I'll I'll need to think about it. Anyway, yes, it's been fun. Thank you for having me. It's been great. You're welcome. Um I will run away now. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, Scott. Bye right. for now. Gotcha. Well, Sean, that was sudden, eh? That was dramatic, the dramatic twist at the Yeah, yeah. very much so. Um, good always saying, though, I, I did enjoy the session. Uh, for all that. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't quite expecting uh, King Oog to, uh, to pass away, but uh, that was a great... Uh, Thing with it with the phoenix i'm happy we worked in the phoenix yeah it was nice actually uh, n n nice to be able to have all that come together and saving adrian only to lose silver is going to be a better army for a long Ooh, time yeah. To come. yeah yeah and i mean as as always you know great great role playing great uh great using what you have and no, thanks for running it, man. As always, it was an absolute blast start to finish. Um, thanks for listening to some of the more crazy ideas and schemes. And you're definitely catching on to my wordplay and uh, going, no, no, I'm not letting you get away with that anymore, which is probably a good thing. Because <laughs> <laughs> I would totally have run rings on the Duke if I'd been give, given the chance to. So, yeah, good, good call going, no, he's not agreeing to that or that or that. Yeah, but I'll give you this thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that works. Yeah. Okay. Um, I as as far as obviously the next Fortnite goes, as I said, I'm not going to be able to be present. I'm not sure what you're planning for it, but in terms of Phoenix's actions moving from here, probably give Silver a burial, take his gear and things like that, and store it all to be given to this childhood friend. That seems the most reasonable use of all of his weapons and such like. Um, but do let me know if, uh, if what, what he has on him and I'll, I'll bear that in mind for future adventures and okay. probably trying to get this whole Raz thing sorted because I want to return the staff I don't want us carrying a reminder of Silver being killed for forever yes. that, I think I think that would probably break for Phoenix especially on such a great day as when he becomes a herald that's going to be a horrible horrible thing to live for <laughs> or live through yeah. hey, become an immortal herald of the gods Oh, 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 not so good thereafter. 
what what day did you say you wouldn't be available? Was that the thirtieth next that's, session? Yeah, that's the first next session. Okay. All right. Okay. I will keep that in mind. Thank you very much. As yeah. I said, just just away for the fortnight, so Yeah. Good, but... Okay. Thanks for playing, Phoenix. I don't know where's at all. Um, I do you want to? Um, oh well. Well, me, me and Adrian just do XP. Uh, for the two of us. Or how do you uh, want to handle it? Yeah. Um. Let's see. Now, if you guys wouldn't mind going back through and figuring that out. Um, yeah, no worries. Um, I keep track of the messes anyway, so it's just the three questions. Okay. I'm seeing all three, but maybe the world one? No, I don't know. Uh, definitely the, the world one. You definitely found out stuff about how the wider planes work. Um, oh, that's true, actually. Yeah, good true. And, um, you know, you, you, uh, you, you sacrifice yourself for Adrian. So you can take the, um, your, your alignment as well. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And. Well, I guess I'm no longer writing a ballad about the adventures of Silver, either. You can write about his last moments. I, I will. I'll, I'll, I'll have a last little uh, poem drawn up for him. And, uh, yeah, we'll consider that bond for film. Oh, and Andrew guys overcame King Oog. I mean, that was a lot of teamwork. Yeah, true, actually. And we looted his staff. Which admittedly doesn't seem like such a valuable treasure now that it's killed. It comes with a cost, yes. Yeah, great power and great responsibility and all that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so I'd say you at least you probably got those three questions, um, three experience at least, and then alignment um, and however many misses. Everybody got so. No worries. I'll put a note in the channel for uh, Daniel's. All right. He is going to be so shocked when he listens to this later. <laughs> I know. Places. <laughs> 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 All right, man. Well, I should probably be heading off. Uh, thanks, as always, for all the...